Hi, Cape Canaveral Poet Laureate here. And today is June 19th, 2020. We're at a time of civil unrest. We're dealing with the COVID situation. And I thought it'd be a good time to reflect on how words and poetry can be used to bring together our people and unite us. I'm gonna read a poem today written by Nikki Giovanni. She is a black poet, just a wonderful writer. And this is called for Sandra. I wanted to write a poem that rhymes, but revolution doesn't lend itself to be bopping. Then my neighbor who thinks I hate asked, do you ever write tree poems? I like trees. So I thought I'll write a beautiful green tree poem. Peeked from my window to check the image. Notice that the schoolyard was covered with asphalt. No green, no trees grow in Manhattan. Then, well, I thought the sky. I'll do a big blue sky poem. But all the clouds have winged low since no dick was elected. So I thought again, and it occurred to me, maybe I shouldn't write at all, but clean my gun and check my kerosene supply. Perhaps these are not poetic times at all. The reason I wanted to share that with you is I thought it was a really great um, use of wordplay to say that even in the time of change, even in the times where we feel hurt or disenchanted and we feel like words are not the proper avenue, she took the time to write the words. And she says, yes, maybe I should be going out and doing something more actionable. But she took the time to write a poem and not just any poem, but one that we can all listen to and connect to and learn from. During all of the civil unrest that we're going through right now, it's a good time to think about what, what can we use our words for? How can we use our words to bring people together, to express our experiences, to better understand other people's experiences? Now, am I ever gonna understand fully what Nikki Giovanni has gone through? No, but by reading some of her poetry, I get a little better sense of what she's going through and what her feelings were. And it helps me be more empathetic when listening to others. It helps me get a better mindset to try to connect with people of all races, of all sexes, of all colors and national origins. The more diverse we read, the more diverse we feel, we can really begin to be the change that we want to see in the rest of the world. So reading poetry, writing poetry, it's likely not going to be the revolution that Nikki Giovanni alluded to that, that would call that would be caused more by guns and kerosene. But it it is a truly, truly emotional revolution where we take time to better understand each other, to better unify as a human race and look out for our brothers and sisters, regardless of any of their characteristics. So on Juneteenth, we try to think back on some of our shortcomings as a society. We look back and we see how we've oppressed, how we've murdered, how our country was built. But the inspiring thing about Juneteenth is shown up in the Juneteenth flag. And if you ever look at it, it's red, white, and blue, the colors of America. And in the middle, there's a big star. That star is a new hope for a new day, a new star rising on the horizon. And that day is what we're going for. Let's all take some time to try to understand, to read other people's words, to listen to other people's words so that we can better empathize, so that we can understand and try to move forward and bring a peace and a unity to people who for so long have been oppressed and who haven't had the same privileges and the same prob the, the same benefits that maybe I've experienced. So 
in, in my final words, I'll just say there is a new star on the horizon. We can see it. We need to be empathetic. We need to understand people from all different backgrounds. Through that diversity and inclusion can come enormous understanding. And at the end of the day, I hope we all grow. We can all learn. We can overcome the systematic prejudices that have been imposed in our system for so long. We can change them. And the first step is to admit. The second is to understand. And the third is to try. By doing those together, we can all come together. We can strive for a better tomorrow. And at the end of the day, hopefully, we can begin to start making subtle changes, better understand other people's dilemmas, and move forward to a bigger, brighter day. Thank you all for your time. Have a good one. Stay safe. Uh, wear a mask when appropriate and support local businesses. Thank you.